Pokemon Yellow game, right? Well, just a few years ago, Pokemon Yellow 2 was released to a select few who signed up for it. Only 10 people worldwide have got to play this game, let alone see it. A few years back, there was a section on the Nintendo site that appeared called Pokemon Yellow 2. I saw this section on the site one day when I was browsing the Nintendo site to see what new releases they have. I saw Pokemon Yellow 2. I clicked on Pokemon Yellow 2 and brought me to that section of the site. The page said that you could enter for a chance to win a copy of the game and play it before release. I read some more on the page and also said there would be only be 10 winners worldwide. So I entered the contest on the Nintendo site as most people would and waited to see if I was one of the lucky few to win. I checked my email and opened up the email from the Nintendo. The letter says you are one of the 10 to win a copy of Pokemon Yellow 2 due to something else's email account being closed down, we will mail you a copy of the game. Hope you enjoy Pokemon Yellow 2. Best regards, Nintendo. So a few days have passed since that email. I hear the doorbell ring and check the front door. The copy of Pokemon Yellow 2 has arrived. The package is wrapped in a special Pikachu wrapping paper. I open up the package and insert the game into the 3DS. The game starts up normal at first, but after a few seconds, the stem starts becoming distorted. It's like the game cartridge is glitched or something. The sword sound has been playing for two minutes now, it won't stop. The sound is starting to annoy me and give me a headache. The sound finally stops, and I sigh the breath of relief. The game finally loads up and everything is normal. I click the start game button and choose a name. I enter the name Gary Oak. After that, the normal message from the professor doesn't appear, but a different message instead. The message is in the yellow box and reads, Dear Gamer, you are one of the few to win a copy of Pokemon Yellow 2. Congrats. This is not your normal game of Pokemon. When playing Pokemon Yellow 2, you must use your Pokeballs to capture any wild Pokemon trainer you see. Some are more rare than others. Some not so much. Own much of any Drifloon that might they might carry you away. So I enter the game like normal, but there's no Pokemon. I go to the professor's laboratory, but no one's there except the Pikachu, and the game doesn't let me choose from three star Pokemon either like it normally would. I exit the professor's lab and make my way over to Route 2. I open up my Poke bag. I take out the Poke map and open up the Poke map. I notice that Alley Cemetery is nearby, and head towards the cemetery. I close the Poke map and put it back in my bag and continue walking. On my walk there, I see Trainer sends out a Drifloon. The wild Pokemon appear, but it is no Pokemon. It is Professor Oak. Professor Oak doesn't look normal, I thought. Professor Oak is all pale, and you can see right through him. I continue to and throw out a Pokeball, but Professor Oak... Before Professor Oak goes in the Pokeball, he says, No one sent me back there. I don't like it in there. I thought to myself, he's been there before. The Pokemon in this version are Pokemon Trainers. I capture Professor Oak in my Pokeball and continue my way to Halloween Cemetery. I arrive at Halloween Cemetery and I can see a kid walking around the cemetery looking for his lost Great Ball. I notice the Drifloon behind the kid. I check my Pokemon and notice that Drifloon is gone. Only Professor Oak is in my inventory. The Drifloon approaches the kid as the kid is looking for their Great Ball and carries the kid off into the distance through the air. I tried running after the Drifloon, but my character was too slow to get there in time. I explore the cemetery only to find a Pikachu sprite near the back of the cemetery. I approach it and the Pikachu starts talking. Pikachu aren't supposed to talk, I thought to myself. A yellow text box appears and it says you shouldn't have played Pokemon Yellow 2. The trainer battle starts and it says Pikachu would like to battle. The Pikachu sends out Ash Ketchum. I send out Professor Oak. Ash says something before I select fight. Ash says please help me. At this point, I'm pretty weirded out by Pokemon Yellow 2. First, Oak has four moves. I select Pokedex Knowledge, but the attack misses. The battle music starts getting distorted. Not the distorted music again, I thought to myself. Just as Ash Ketchum is about to attack, the battle starts glitching out. I can't see much on the screen besides the color yellow. The screen stops being distorted. Distorted after a few seconds, I notice the battle is not on the screen anymore, and now I'm in a different location. I also noticed that my spray is now that of Gary Oak. I recognize this, the location. It's the old chateau in the Turner Forest. I'm outside of it at the entrance. I open up the door and enter the old chateau. I walk towards what seems to be a dining room. Before entering the dining room, I notice a book, but I don't bother to look at it. I enter the dining room and notice a butler that appears to be sitting at the other side of the table in the dining room. And I see the Pikachu sprite by the table. 
I used the 3DS analog stick to move my way towards the Pikachu sprite and I pressed the A button. The Pikachu sprite uncovers what's on the plate and it's a trainer. It's Ash Ketchum on the plate. The old text box for Pikachu appears and says it's not Pokemon on the menu anymore. It's now Pokemon Trainers. Thank <laughs> you.